I'll share with you a few things that is interesting in a certain sense. You know, we had uh, September 23rd, 2017 was the Revelation 12 sign. And that was an amazing sign in the sky. The woman clothed with the sun, the moon at her feet, 12 stars over her head. She labored in pain to give birth. And Jupiter, the king planet, comes down through the womb area on September 23rd like a birth and she gave birth to a male child that would rule the world and the male child was snatched up to God to protect him from the dragon who was at the feet of the woman uh, to uh, to devour the child the moment it was born and uh, many of us do look at that birth as reflecting yes Jesus is the head of the church but the church is the body of Christ Christ and has been chosen to rule and reign with him and that the child snatched up to God will be a representation of the rapture of the church and as we are considering the times and the seasons with all things conversion converging I just thought this was interesting from the Revelation 12 sign date to April 7th which is Good Friday 2023 the result is 200 2023 days well i just thought that was interesting from the revelation 12 sign to good friday this year is 2023 days and it's the year 2023 and here's one of the things see here passover week actually starts see this year good friday comes right within passover week i love that that's beautiful uh, it's a great time to witness to the Jewish people because they're celebrating Passover and it all points to Jesus. Jesus is the Passover lamb. He died on Passover. He took the Passover bread. The Bible says he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body. The Afi Koman is a special uh, matzos unleavened wafer that the Jewish people take and break in the Passover week, at the end of the Seder, in the Passover celebration, they break this uh, matzos, wrap it in a linen cloth, hide it, and then play a game with the children, hot and cold, and go find it and bring it out and celebrate. The Bible says Jesus took the bread and broke it. Jesus took the bread and broke it, and he said, This is my body, the unleavened bread, representing the body of Jesus because he had no sin, he had no leaven. Leaven in Passover is an abomination. Jesus had no sin. And he is also going to be wrapped as he died as sacrifice to pay the penalty for our sins. He was His body was wrapped just as the Afi Koman is wrapped in a linen cloth. His body was put in a tomb just as the Afi Koman is hidden. And his, just as the Afi Koman is found and brought out and then their celebration, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Messiah of Israel, he rose from the dead in power and great glory. And all those who believe and understand come to celebrate because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. We're, so they're getting ready for Passover week and having the Passover Seder to get together. And remember this because God told him, don't forget it. He told him, when I see the blood, I'll pass over you and uh, the blood of the lamb. We know the blood of Jesus was shed on Passover week. But even as the Jewish people are getting ready for Passover here uh, week on April 5th to April 13th, you know, it's a good time to tell Jews, Jewish people about Jesus being the Passover lamb. But I just wanted to show you this, um, that... Um, the big, from the Revelation 12 sign that appeared there in uh, the sky on September 23rd, 2017 to April 5th, which is the beginning of Passover week, is 2020 days. 2020 days. And uh, so just to keep that in mind, this is the big to the beginning of Passover. And what's the theme of Passover? Well, the theme of Passover in many ways we consider to be deliverance. Deliverance, And what are we waiting for in, in, in awaiting the rapture of the church? We're waiting for deliverance. And I just wanted to show you this, even as uh, from the Revelation 12 sign to April 5th, the beginning of Passover, which has a theme of deliverance. Strong's 2020 is Hatzalah. Hatzalah is deliverance. Deliverance. 
And as we see in Esther chapter 4, verse 14, deliverance. And so we are uh, awaiting this great and glorious day for our deliverance from this plots and schemes of the evil one who is at the feet of the woman to devour the child the moment it's born. And I just show you this other this other point here, and that is uh, that is um, Strong's twenty twenty. Strong's twenty twenty in Greek is to dawn, and in Hebrew is deliverance to dawn. So as we uh, we remember that uh, to dawn, I will share with you this song. This could be the dawning of that great. And glorious day. A parade began at Calvary. The saints of all the ages fill its ranks. O'er the sands of time they're marching to their king's great coronation. And this could be the dawning of that day. This could be the dawning of that grand and glorious morning when the face of Jesus we behold. Dreams and hopes of all the ages are awaiting his returning. And this could be the dawning of that day. All the saints are getting restless. They're not bound by shackles forged of earthly gold. Since that day they knelt at Calvary, they've been pilgrims ever wandering, just looking for a place to fill their souls. And this could be the dawning of that grand and glorious morning when the face of Jesus we behold. Dreams and hopes of all the ages are awaiting his returning and this could be the dawning of that day but until then my heart will go on singing but until then with joy i'll carry on until the day we behold the Savior in glory. Yes, Jesus Christ is coming soon, dear friends. We don't know the day. We don't know the hour. But we do believe and we have great hope that he is coming soon. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 20, Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. When things begin to start unfolding, it's going to unfold quickly, dear friends, and it's all coming down right now. It's a good day to get right with Jesus. It's a good day to get excited about loving Jesus. You know, if you've got sin in your life, if there's things that have distracted you in this life, and you've taken your eyes off Jesus, dear friends, today is a day to turn to Christ, get humble before the Lord. I mean, the scripture does say if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, God's son, cleanses us from all sin. So come to the light. That is, let the light shine in your heart and just get honest with God. Get honest with God about what's been in your heart. Uh, selfishness and pride or greed or worry. You know, uh, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication. Let your requests be made known to God. So dear, let's just take it all to Jesus and let's turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace i love colossians chapter 3 if you then be risen with christ seek those things which are above set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth for you are dead and your life is hid with christ and with god and when christ who is our life shall appear then shall you also appear with him in glory mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth that draw you aside mortify that is put to death the members that uh, on this earth, that uh, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and adult adultery. Lord, the, put these things 
away, dear friends, and come to Christ. The Bible says if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Jesus washed Peter's feet uh, because uh, Peter was going to deny Christ. He washed his feet before he even denied Christ, just as to give him that symbol and show him that, uh, you know, there's going to, there's forgiveness. There is forgiveness. And dear friends, just to open your heart and receive that forgiveness to get come into that peace and that walk with God and get close to the Lord today. Draw near to the Lord and he'll draw near to you. Flee from the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil and he will flee from you, the scripture says. Well, the Lord bless you all today. Jesus Christ is coming soon as we approach Good Friday and and remembering Resurrection Sunday, dear friends, I say proclaim the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Proclaim that Jesus is the Passover lamb. If you know any Jewish people, dear friends, uh, tell, them, tell them Jesus died on Passover. Tell them the afikoman points to Jesus. And tell them that Jesus Christ is coming soon. And they must have the blood of the Passover lamb on the door. Not the door of their house, but the door of their heart by faith, to put their faith in the blood of Jesus. Dear friends, God bless you all. We'll see you soon.